Hey Trailblazers, welcome back to the Declarative Academy. Today we're getting practical with something every Salesforce admin should know, how to build an approval process. Think of those moments when a sales rep offers a big discount or when an account needs a manager's green lights before moving forward. Instead of chasing people on email or Slack, Salesforce can handle that approval automatically. And that's exactly what we're going to set up. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up an approval process that emails initial approvers, configure it so users can approve or reject opportunity records, all without manual chasing. We'll go step by step, so open your trailhead playground and follow along. Before we start building, let's anchor this in a real example. Picture this. You're part of the sales team at Coral Cloud Resorts. Every now and then, your reps offer discounts to help close big deals. But there's a rule. If that discount goes above 40%, a manager needs to give the thumbs up. Now, instead of having reps ping managers on Slack or chase approvals over email, you want Salesforce to take care of it automatically. That's where an approval process comes in. It lays out three key things. Who needs to approve the record? When Salesforce should send it for approval? And what happens once it's approved or rejected? Simple idea, powerful results. All right, let's start by setting up the email notification that managers will get when something needs their approval. Here's how to do it. First, head over to Setup, then type Templates into the Quick Find box. From there, click Classic Email Templates. Next, click New Template, choose Text as the type, and hit Next. Now we'll fill in a few details. For the folder, choose Unfiled Public Classic Email Templates. Make sure Available for Use is ticked. Give it a name, Approve Opportunity Discount. For encoding, pick General US and Western Europe. And in the subject line, type, please approve this discounted opportunity. Then, for the email body, write this. User, manager, the bar opportunity, dot name has been discounted. Please approve this discount. Thank you. Those merge fields, the ones in curly brackets, pull in live Salesforce data. So, when a manager gets the email, they'll see the actual opportunity name and can click straight through to the record. Once you've done that, click Save, and that's your first building block ready to go. Next up, we're going to create a couple of custom fields on the opportunity object, one to track the discount percentage, and another to track the approval status. Here's how to do it. From Setup, head to Object Manager, then open Opportunity and select Fields and Relationships. Click New, choose Percent, then click Next. Now fill in the details. Field label, discount percent, leave the length and decimal places as they are, tick required so that every opportunity has a discount value recorded, then click next next and save a new to move on to the second field. For this one, select pick list and hit next. Set the field label to discount percent status. Under pick list values, type the following, one per line, approved, not approved, click next, next and save. And that's it. Your opportunity object now has everything it needs to track both the discount and its approval status. Now it's time to create the approval process that allows your managers to approve or decline your discounts. From setup, enter approval in the quick find box and then select approval processes. In manage approval processes for, select opportunity. Click create new approval process. Use jumpstart wizard. The jumpstart wizard helps you create a simple approval process by making some decisions for you. Now configure the approval process. Name, approve opportunity discount. Approval assignment email template. Approve opportunity discount. Specify entry criteria. Field, opportunity, discount percent. Operator, greater than, value, 40. Select approver. Let the submitter choose the approver manually. Save the approval process. Click view approval process. Detail page. Under final approval actions, click add new field update, and configure it with these values. Name, approved, field to update, discount percent status, a specific value, approved. Click save. Under final rejection actions, click add new, field update, and configure it with these values. Name, not approved, field to update, discount percent status, a specific value, not approved. Click save. Once both actions are in place, hit activate to make the process live. And that's it. You've just built a fully working approval process in Salesforce. 
Now let's make sure your users can actually trigger the approval process themselves. Here's how to set it up. Go to Setup, then open Object Manager and select Opportunity. From there, choose Page Layouts. Open the Opportunity Layout you want to edit. At the top of the editor, click on Buttons. Find the Submit for Approval button and drag it into the Standard Buttons section. When that's done, click Save. That's all you need to do. Your users can now submit opportunities for approval with a single click directly from the record page. A quick tip before we move on. If your organization uses dynamic actions on a lightning record page, you should add the submit for approval action in the highlights panel instead. That way, it stays visible and easy to use in the modern lightning layout. But what if users forget to click that submit for approval button? That's where Flow Builder comes in. With Flow, you can set things up so Salesforce does the work automatically. You'd build a record triggered flow that runs whenever an opportunity is edited. The flow checks the discount percent field and if it's greater than 40, it automatically kicks off the submit for approval action. No clicks, no reminders. Salesforce just takes care of it. If you'd like to explore that option in more detail, have a look at the trailhead module called Data and Actions in Flows. It walks you through how to build these kinds of automated processes step by step. Now it's over to you. Let's walk through the Trailhead hands-on challenge together. In this exercise, you'll create an approval process for accounts. The goal is simple. Any prospect account with more than 500 employees needs to be approved before it can be converted into a customer. It's a great way to practice what we've just covered, setting conditions, assigning approvers, and defining what happens when a record is approved or rejected. Ready? Let's get started. All right, let's take this one step at a time. First, go to Setup, then open Object Manager and select Account. From there, click Fields and Relationships. Check that the type picklist includes the values Prospect, Customer, and Pending. If any of those are missing, add them now so we can use them later in the process. Next, still in Setup, search for Approval Processes in the Quick Find box. When the page opens, choose Account under the section that says Manage Approval Processes for, click Create New, then select Use Jumpstart Wizard. Now you can fill in the setup details. For the name, type Approve New Account. The unique name will fill automatically as Approve New Account. For the Approval Assignment email template, you can pick any one that is available. Now set the entry criteria. Choose account type equals prospect and account employees greater than 500. For the approver, select automatically assigned to yourself. Next, add an initial submission action. Give it the name account type to pending. Choose to update the type field and set the new value to pending. Then add a final approval action. Call it account type to customer. Choose to update the type field and set the value to customer. After that, edit the record lock that happens after approval so that the record becomes unlocked. This allows users to edit the record once the approval is complete. Finally, add a final rejection action. Name it account type to prospect. Set the type field to prospect again. When everything is ready, click activate to turn the process on. And that's it. Your approval process is now live. From this point forward, Whenever a prospect account with more than 500 employees is created or updated, Salesforce will automatically send it for approval before it can be converted into a customer. Let's take a moment to recap what you've achieved so far. You started by creating an email template to notify approvers when something needs their attention. Then you built custom fields to capture and track the key approval details. Next, you used the Jumpstart Wizard to set up a complete approval process from start to finish. You added actions to handle what happens when a record is approved or rejected. And finally, you placed the Submit for Approval button on the page layout so users can easily start the process themselves. What you've built is a full approval cycle, from the initial request right through to the final decision, all handled seamlessly within Salesforce. And that's a wrap on building an approval process in Salesforce. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like, hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our next session. Until next time, keep learning, keep building smarter and keep blazing trails.